name is Casey, and I was invited here today to talk a little bit about the shop that I work at. It's called The Light Cellar. Has anybody ever heard of The Light Cellar? Yeah. So the, the Light Cellar is a very unique and kind of a strange little shop located in Bonas, kind of the ghetto of Calgary. Uh, it's situated at one point between a 7-Eleven and a liquor store or gas station. Um, it's, it's this little beacon of unique energetic light that shines very much from the inspiration of the vision of quite a few people across the globe coming together to teach nourishment the deep roots of nourishment, how we can nourish ourselves from a food level, community standpoint, and just all levels of our being, how to be open to nourishment. Uh, the main focus of this shop is teaching, is supplying a world of amazing food, things called superfoods. In other words, something that has an exceptional quality to it, something above and beyond just your average domesticated kale, plant, or lettuce, great foods not necessarily superfoods, unless you really need it at the time. So what happens there is it's, it's really been an evolution from one man's vision of just loving raw food, raw vegan style, starting a journey. His name is Malcolm, and he's the owner of the shop. He had this idea that there was something deep, deeply missing in our society from how people were eating, how they were treating their food, and how the level of respect and love for the sacredness of consuming and building energy and building nourishment was, was just being disregarded. So he went on a big, long journey and path, and out of his basement from selling nuts and seeds to uh, little unique items here and there, he actually started up this little shop, just word of mouth, no advertising, one person at a time. And it's grown from really probably about where you guys are all sitting right now as we're out of the shop, how big it is. But what we're actually able, actually able to put in that shop is some of the most profound and amazing healing tools for people who discover us. Uh, from the very basics uh, of life, the foundations, all the way up to the things that help accentuate brain function, accentuate our sexual expression and play, accentuate our hormonal balance, and, um, it's the deepest nourishment, really, that you can find. And through this little melting pot, we've started to synergize ideas, and he's grown out of his idea of what it is to be a human being, uh, what you, you are, what you eat, evolving it into this living process. So it's not limited by the idea of veganism, it's not limited by the idea of meat eating, it's not limited by the idea of some sort of clash, it's about meeting your biology, your very human biology that has requirements for its optimal performance with whatever it takes, and doing it in a sustainable way, and reclaiming the fact that we actually have this profound million, billion year intelligence weaving through us that unfortunately we've been kind of tricked out of. And I had this epiphany at one point where I've, I've been learning and studying nutrition and, and connecting in with it, and there was two things literally and metaphorically that I was overlooking, and that was my sense of smell and my sense of taste. And it's number one and number two like that. So here I am, trying to find my nourishment, and I'm overlooking the two things that are keeping, keeping me in tune with what I actually require in my body. Now, this is definitely guided me into this place because it's such a perfect vehicle for me to share this. And so I would like to share it with you and you can use it as you wish, but it's a profound tool and it'll actually change your life if you really follow it closely. Smell what you eat. It's your number one receptor to your body telling you what, what you need. Your, the brother before was showing these beautiful pictures of these gardens with all these different foods and all these different qualities of foods. Now, how do you know what to take during the day? I mean, you can go in there and just start grabbing stuff. I think I need this, I think I need that. But essentially, if you get down with fresh food, fresh raw food, and you break it open and you smell it, and you go, yum, <laughs> that's telling you you require something in that food. Mm. When you eat a half pound of it and you smell it later, and you're like, I don't smell anything, it doesn't smell nearly as good, it's your body telling you you're done. So the number two perfect response is you're eating the thing. You're eating it. Oh my god, the salad is fucking amazing. 
I'm on bite three, and this is changing my life for me. <laughs> I can't believe it. I've never had such a good salad. Woo! You're halfway through that fucking thing. And you're like, yeah, that's a good salad, but you know, now it's like, I'm just plowing through this thing. It actually kind of tastes like cardboard now. That's your body telling you you're done. You've gotten everything you require from it. You can stop eating that. Milk. You don't have to fill your gut. And go through the process of trying to deal with all the stuff you don't need anymore. There's tricks now. There's tricks, and this is where the distortion starts to come in. We can be tricked by cooked foods. Not to say cooked foods are bad by any means, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying they can trick our sense of smell. If you go into a restaurant, you're smelling a steak, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean you require it. You could. You could be fantasizing about it. You could be just totally in that phase where you need that protein. That's what's going to work best for you. But cooked foods tend to have this tendency of tricking. So it's kind of one of those things to be a little bit mindful of, to really listen to the biology, because your biology is so fucking intelligent. <laughs> Far beyond what the mind can conceive. And when we can really bring the mind into the potency of the biology and really receive its messages, you can heal any disease, you can move deeper into any practice you have, and really live in your inspiration when you meet your biology on its terms, not from your mind's terms. And your mind will settle when you meet your biology's terms. So you don't have all the drama around the shit you're doing in your life or the people around you. It just starts to fall away because there's a peace that starts to happen. Your cells are working, you're hydrated, you're expanding and you're ready for the next fucking best salad you've ever had in your whole entire fucking life. Yeah! <laughs> or meat sausage. <laughs> so essentially what this, what this little store brings is just a new vision and a melting pot about what it is to nourish ourselves on the level of food and how that stems out when we've really met ourselves there into our inspiration and when we've met ourselves there into our inspiration in the world and how we can move forward and then into just this sense of lightness or enlightenment and um, being able to just bounce through these things and let them flow like the water under the bridge that they are and just be a part of this amazing human process. Those are some amazing tools. So you can use them in the grocery store, freak people out, tell them about it. Why are you scratching and sniffing that celery? Like, I'm trying to see if I need to eat this right now. <laughs> so, um, you can come down to this shop. It's also, it's interesting because we do have so many addictive things within our food. One of them being sugar, the main ones. It's a requirement for our life and yet it's getting a little out of control. So it's kind of one of the nice things we have. There's a bit of a hook there. We make raw chocolate. So we make it with honey, with agave, with all sorts of amazing stuff. So it kind of brings people in on the side. They're kind of like, oh, what's going on here? Yeah, don't, don't, what the fuck's a goji berry? <laughs> What's the chocolate? Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. Oh, wow, that tastes really nice. That's cool. I'm going to come back here. And it's an unfolding experience. We can get into the Ayurvedic side of things. We can get into what chocolate, coffee, alcohol, really they're actually good for, which is delivering medicine. Alcohol is amazing if you use it in a proper context. This culture is fucking distorted. It's so bad. Just like most things. So when we can get back to our roots and our heritage, what it is to ferment things, what it is to take honey from the hive and make an alcohol with a bunch of herbs in it, we go home, we feel drunk, you know, we have casual sex, but the next day we wake up and we're ready to like rock and roll. That's the of our lives again. You know? so, it's about bringing back and really re-empowering ourselves and starting to understand what it is to be a human in its fullest capacity and just letting go of the bullshit because so much comes from the constriction of eating outside of our biology and you know we we do that because we're trying to dull this but this this thing is has a brain this thing has a brain this thing has a brain they're all when they all synergize together i mean seriously you know you're making love to yourself walking down the street. <laughs> Relax. Your system can start to spread in ways that it hasn't before. You know, no amount of yoga can, can get you there. I mean, it's great together. Do them together. It's better. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much. We're, we are located still between the 7-Eleven and the old liquor store. And, and it's gone. And sure. Questions? Yeah, I have one question. Um, do you guys have a ping pong at a good price? What's a good price to you? Oh no, I was seeing like I saw it cheaper in BC and it was like 350 grams out here at the BI for like 20 bucks. I saw the same amount 
and Nelson for like 11. So we've got fresh bee pollen from a guy in Vancouver, and so a lot of it's dried, and we sell 300 grams for $28. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't actually have hemp seed oil. We have the protein and the, the seeds itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>